Okay, so we have just looked at the equation E equals negative dv dx. Now the beauty of this expression is that if I know the electric field intensity, I can always get the electric potential. And if I know the electric potential, I can find the electric field intensity. So just as an example, let's look at how we can derive. So we'll look at the derivation of electric potential V the derivation of electric potential from this formula e equals negative dv dx this expression so it's very important let's uh, let's write this in a more favorable way let's say e dx equals negative dv of course i could say dv equals negative e dx but we already know that e so since we're using this expression to find V, it means we already have a clue about E. The electric field is given by Q over 4 pi epsilon X squared for any medium. So go to substitute that here. There are four dV. Okay. Uh, okay, that's squared. So dV is going to be uh, negative Q over 4 pi epsilon not epsilon not epsilon x squared times dx so that's uh, uh, dv but if we want to find the total potential then we've got to integrate from 0 to v of dv also by definition for electric potential moving a charge from infinity to a point a distance r so there we go negative q over 4 pi epsilon x squared dx so the integral from 0 to v of dv is going to be v on the other hand we have negative q over 4 pi epsilon let's see if we integrate 1 over x squared we have negative 1 over x from infinity to r so that's going to be let's see what we get there that's negative q over 4 pi epsilon not x okay in brackets we have negative 1 over r because 1 over okay just indicate all that minus that minus plus okay plus 1 over infinity okay hub so 1 over infinity is 0 and we'll end up with electric potential as q over 4 pi epsilon r so you can see that if we have or if we already know the electric potential, uh, sorry, the electric field intensity, we can always find the electric potential. So that's one useful thing with uh, this expression.